Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. Shaq is already laughing, and I know why, because when we were talking about Bayern earlier in the show tonight, and the uh, Bayern sporting director's name came up, I couldn't even look across <laughs> at Stevie or catch Shaka's eye, because we know that Stevie has problems with the pronunciation of his name. Go on, Stevie, go on. I, I don't even know <laughs> what it is. You said you've done it. Sally Hammerditch. Sally Hammerditch. <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, closer, 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 closer than yeah, closer than your previous closer. attempt. Um, uh, I don't know why any of you have turned up tonight, Frank, <sighs> Jacker, and Stevie, because most of the questions are for Kieran Gibbs. Oh, I, all right, uh, ready? Go, go, I, I right. Kieran, oh, that's okay. Great. We can go. Bye bye. Question. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs> Kieran, Kieran, question Frank. number one: Where can you watch the Bundesliga? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. I didn't burn him during the show. Oh, no. uh, the plus. I was dying to jump every single game. Sometimes ABC. <laughs> Kieran, <sighs> what was it like playing for Arsene Wenger? And what's one thing you admired most about him? And what set him apart from other managers? Oh, okay. Um, well, I mean, it's such a general question. I could I could sit here all day explaining what it was like. So I'll probably just best to pick one or two things. I think his calmness was one. Uh, he always managed to make the team feel relaxed, especially, you know, in, in big games, before big games. Um, and he always had a way of giving the team confidence uh, with his words, because he was just such an icon of the game. So. You just had no choice to believe what he was saying. Uh, and he, he always did a good job of protecting the players. And I think that that's what made um, all the boys want to do well for him. I would say I would say those are the best things about him. Nice stuff. OK, why do Chelsea players just go through the motions? Frank, I'll put this to you. Who is the best leader you've ever played with who could fire up a lazy clubhouse to perform their best? And who could do it today? With the best with leader that I play with? Yes. Uh, well, Denis Wise was our captain and he was a clear leader. He was a fighter, he was a warrior. Um, and, uh, but I would say that both of the players that I play with at Chelsea were leaders. I, I, I didn't have any I don't have any names of players, you know. Yeah, you had some players like Torre Andre Flo, was a little bit shy, never talked, you know, but uh, but clear talent. But every line of our team, you are like two, three leaders. It's why it is lacking right now at Chelsea. It seems to be that they don't have any leader. But at the time, you know, Steve Clark, myself, then after Marcel Desailly, Graham Lusso, Denis Wise uh, in front of me, uh, Roberto Di Matteo, uh, Didier Deschamps, and then at front you had Viali, Zola, Asselbank. Come on, you had so many leaders. So, yeah, yeah, this, it's uh, it's what you need, and it's what Chelsea needs. And it was the end of the question. Uh, who could lie the lay uh, to perform? Let's say, the that's best. Just, that's that part. But who could do it today? Well, I, 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 I would thought that uh, Thiago Silva is the the real leader, um, uh, but I know uh, through his uh, his career in uh, in Paris Saint Germain that he's he's maybe a technical leader. He seems to be a leader, but he doesn't really talk. Um, otherwise, you know, Mason Mann should be the one, but he doesn't really play. He's not at his top. Um, is the guy from the club, you know, like John Terry was, and you can expect from him to uh, to get the leadership, uh, but you have to be at the top to uh, to do so. Leaders, best leader you played with, Shaka. Um, that is a good question. Um, in terms of just pure leadership, um, you had Rob Lee at, at Newcastle. He was good. Um, Probably Rob Lee, I'd say, in terms of for, for my club team. Um, Rob, Rob was Rob was really good for Newcastle. And I have to say, of course, I'm, I'm well, slightly biased here, but I, I thought I've said this before. I thought Dwight York for Trafford Tobago was an outstanding captain. Really, really, really well. Was it just leading by example? No, not just that. Um, I, I think that there's a lot about Dwight. Um, so Dwight, Dwight leads by example on the park, but also Dwight is one of the hardest trainers I know. So 
um, and, and that is one of the aspects I think that we sorely lacked. And, and I, it's, it's maybe see, a... see from the outside, mm. Dwight would have been the last one I would have, I would have thought. Dwight, Dwight, you know, Dwight is the hard, one of the hardest workers I, I know, and and um, and I, I think almost culturally, we that's something that we all players didn't fully appreciate how hard you have to work from Monday to Friday to be good on a Saturday. Um, and, and Dwight personified that. And that was from the outside, well. you get the impression that Dwight's relaxed, always got a smile on his face. And he is. I'm, I'm surprised to hear you saying that about him. Yeah, now nah, he, he is always relaxed, that. always has a smile on his face, yeah. but he's, he's he, he, he just puts himself, I mean, even now, he, he is still the fittest man I know, and, and that work ethic has not changed. What about you, Stevie? Best lead. Oh, I have three in the one team. I mean, Dal Gleish, if you weren't if you weren't at it, he'd be right in your face telling you in no uncertain terms. You got Sunis, who who again would would lead by example, but what a player. He would just step his game up. And then he just, if need be, he'd take on the other ten in the opposition, beat them all up, uh, and then we'd <laughs> win that way. And then you had Hansen, who was a completely different leader, who was who was a little quick man, would just give you a little thing that would that would put you on your toes. So, James, how lucky was that? Three in the one team. Kieran, leaders, best leader you played with? Leaders. Sesk. Sesk and Per Murtasaka. Murtasaka was just purely like the, the uh, uh, you know, how his demands, what he demanded from you day in, day out. Sesk, Sesk was a different type of leader, I would say. He was more, uh, he was just so like, his bravery on the ball and how he approached games, he, he led by example in that way. He wasn't as vocal as Pear, but he, he just led by example on the pitch and you just knew that, you know, he was, he was right up for it every week. Next question's for you, Kieran. What's your long-term view on that Andre Mariner red card he gave to you instead of Oxlade Chamberlain in error? How did I know that this was going to come at some point? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, it's nearly ten years now. I think what's crazy about it is that it was it was what 2014, 2014, and 2014. And you just think that a 20, it doesn't seem that long ago and that how a mistake like that can happen um, did during, you know, it's the, in the modern game, which obviously is never going to happen now because you have VAR. So um, it's a little bit strange to think that, you know, in this day and age that something like that can happen. But I was just as shocked as everyone else at that time, you know, and, and just as frustrated. So, um yeah, definitely. You know, probably one of the one of the stranger moments of the of, of the Premier League that we've seen. <laughs> See, they brought VAR in back then. Kane would have played the rest of the game. <laughs> should have should have elbowed him in the chin. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> should have got away with it. <laughs> yeah, just all you have, have, have to do is apologise. All you have to do is say say with that ref. I would be all right. <laughs> Next question, Kieran. What was the 2009 Under 21 Euro tournament like? The Germany team that beat you with Ozil. Neuer, Hummels and Kadira were monsters. Yeah, oh, wow. <clears throat> we're going way back now. That was, uh, I mean, what a team we had. 2009. 2009, yeah, what a team we had. I was one of the younger players. I was, I was like 19. It was my kind of first call up to the, to the 21s during that time. And they were just, I mean, all of the players you had, Joe Hart in goal, um, Theo was there. Trying to remember who else for Bruce. I, I, I looked at a few Catamore. of them. Micah Richards, Lee Catamol, Theo Rich, Walcott, bro. Noble, Milner, Nadem Anua, our Nadem oh. was Nadem, in the team uh, as well. Uh, Nadem. Um, yeah, there was a, what a team, what a team. And then the, the team spirit during that trip, we was in Sweden. We was there for the whole summer, got to the final. We, we were so confident, like lead going into the final. It was a shame that we had lost quite a few players in the final. We lost Joe Hart to suspension in the semis on penalties. He got booked. There was a couple of other bookings as well. I can't really remember now, but we'd lost like, we didn't really have an out and out striker, I think at the end. Um, and it was, that was a tough one to swallow, man. That was, that still burns me to this day a little bit, that one. 4-0. 
Fine. Mm, well, they, uh, they'll miss him for the Germany. <laughs> stop the stop rubbing it in, Key. Straight I'm to forget. I'm English. Straight to forget. <laughs> well, I'm a dual citizen now, so, you know, <laughs> I can decide whether to support or not. All right, for Frank, start, bench or drop? Baguettes, croissants or French toast? <laughs> 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 oh, my God. For the first time, no fan's going to get crazy about, about, that, <laughs> my, about my decision. Uh, OK. Um, Croissant, baguette, and French toast. Uh, we don't go too much on French toast, I have to say. Uh, um, the baguette is traditional, uh, and that's maybe the only thing that I try that I eat. I don't eat croissant anymore; it's too uh, it's too fat. Uh, but I can get some baguettes, you know, on Sunday for brunch with some uh, eggs and bacon. Uh, yeah, baguettes. Is lovely, but croissant, baguette, and I drop. Yeah, I, I definitely drop the French uh, toast. Oh dear, he. Hang on, have you had oh, any oh, of these do, items? Do you know what? Hey, <laughs> when I was a kid growing up in Scotland, on a Sunday morning, my dad would make French toast. We thought we were absolutely Charlie Big Spots. Hang on, did you call it eggy French bread? French toast. <laughs> <laughs> quite what? Eggy bread. No, <laughs> no, no. No, we were uh, we were suave, <laughs> little French toast. <laughs> oh, hey. And what did you put on your French toast? <laughs> Tomato sauce, of course. That was silly. <laughs> what a stupid no! question. You're dead. No, you cannot do that. Hold on. That's hold on. I can just, I can just see it now. Oh, Here no, we go. No, no. Here we go. Dip it in the chin. Then tip it in the tomato sauce. Oh God. Oh, how, how do we go from? How yeah. do we go from? Well, I guess in croissants. We were right. We were suave. We yeah. were suave. <laughs> so I'm dipping it in ketchup. <laughs> Oh God! Oh God! That's wrong. Uh, that's just that's wrong. Sad. Yeah. Oh God. Oh. I can't yep. disagree, Stevie. Oh, <laughs> you have to disagree. No, you have to kids. disagree. You have to. <laughs> I give it to the kids when we've got bread to use. Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my no. God. Oh, all right. Oh, okay. So oh. not not for Frank. Next question is for Stevie. Oh. More food. The shepherd's oh. pie connoisseur. I went to a restaurant that offered the dish with chicken. Would Stevie oh, approve? No, 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 no. I never heard of a shepherd's pie with chicken before. No, not at all. See, people... Wait, wait. people, what, people what was shepherd has chickens? Seriously. <laughs> uh, it's just... It's not any name, right there. Do they right have to there? call it shepherd pied chicken? No, no, I, 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 why do people wrong. try and be clever? You know, when something, you know when something's really good the way it is? What, like putting ketchup on French toast? Leave it alone. No, that's, that's what you're supposed to do. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Don't be sticking corn in it. Don't be sticking chicken in it. Just leave it the way it is. And it's perfect. There's only two things TV gets passionate about. Liverpool and Shepherd's Pie. Seriously, people just get too clever. <laughs> just get too it's clever. the only thing I've seen TV oh, get woke up about. Sergio Ramos. Oh, yeah, Sergio Ramos. That's, that, that too is true. That too is true. Let's, but he, but let's he, not go yeah. there. <laughs> Start bench and drop. Liverpool, Shepherd's Pie and Sergio Ramos. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How would you say bye-bye in Spanish? Uh, <laughs> adios. <laughs> oh, sorry. Adios. There you go. Uh, are you learning Spanish at the moment? Did I see Kieran? Oh God, yeah. I would say I wouldn't say doing well, but I'm trying. Good for you. You'll be better than Shaka. <laughs> better than Kieran Dan, I'm sure. They Not than me. There. No. Come Hang on. on. Don't don't Just include me, that. Don't on, include me right. in this one. All right, all right. I take that. Come on, Stas. Come on, Stas. Get out of back. Muy bien, Frank. Come on, Stas. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Uh, Even I can join we, in that we, conversation. We, 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 yeah. <laughs> what kind of conversation is that? I mean, damn, we got on well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 were sat in Mad we were sat in Madrid, and there's me, Dan, and Gab, and the waiter's going, eh, 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 right? And Dan's doing this, looking at Gab. <laughs> <laughs> no, I lived with him. As if to say, what did he say? <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. God. I know. All right. For Kieran, what's your favourite dish? Um... Shepherd's pie with chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with chicken and corn. And, and French toast on top I of it. I still can't get over the French toast and the ketchup, man. Like, oh, that's just so wrong. Oh, it's it's all terrible. Um, <sighs> I mean, I've been here now, so I've had to adjust to, like, American food. And uh, it's... I mean, it's good. It's, it's just a bit more greasier than back home. I would say I'm still going to go with mum's mum's homemade uh, Sunday dinner. 
something like a Sunday roast. Eggs. Oh, yeah, roast. can't argue with that. Yeah, yeah. Can't can't argue you with are that. living in Miami, though, Kieran. There's some great options. You need to get, <laughs> go and start eating the Peruvian food. That's, uh, yeah, you're some right. Some great actually. restaurants down that way. All right. What class, by the way, what classes is American food? Burger, fries. Burger, no. No, nah, that's an oxymoron. American yeah. food doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> you said that, Frank, not me. I'm with you, Frank. It doesn't exist. Oh, yeah. I mean, they have all the qualities, but don't, they're not, it's definitely yeah, not let's, the let's food. Let's not annoy all of our viewers today, Stevie. Sorry? There's a wonderful American dish. Corn dogs. Quintessentially American. You, I don't Donuts. get you kids. I don't. <laughs> Don't be lazy and don't get... Look at Stevie pretending he's like the health oh, expert now. Yeah, yeah. Don't give that to the kids. Hey, I know what to eat. I just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for sending in your questions. We'll do it all again. Same time, same place tomorrow. <sighs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.